People get wrecked. What's up, everybody? This is Lester, and I'm coming to you real quick to talk to you about my boy, Rodney Coe. He is the writer of the film Levitical Rise, the screenplay writer. I love Rodney. I love his acting. Had the opportunity to do a show with him in Tennessee, and he's an absolutely amazing, talented, gifted writer and actor. But man, does he have an incredible testimony, an incredible testimony. He is the star of the movie that's coming out, the feature that's coming out called Jonah. It is the live filmed stage production of the show that Sight and Sound is doing out in Branson, Missouri. It'll be hitting theaters, 600 theaters nationwide. I want you to check this video out as Rodney Coe shares his testimony. Getting to play Jonah has been uh, an incredible experience unlike anything I ever expected. There's a lot of me uh, in this role. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, I developed epilepsy, but there was a teacher named Mr. Rhodes who started casting me in shows. Whenever I was acting, the seizures were gone. I was completely and totally seizure-free, and in performance, I was seizure-free. Ended up going to college, the seizures lifted. Uh, they stopped, um, and it was done, and from that point, my love for theater continued to excel. In the midst of all of this, though, there were two buddies of mine that I was very close to, both of whom told me in their own way that they were going to take their own life. I didn't believe either of them because it wasn't as clear in the moment. Um, and they did. That rocked me. I started self-medicating. I started drinking a lot. I started doing drugs. Now, I grew up in a Christian home, but um, because of those experiences early in life, I didn't really trust the Lord. Where was He in those moments? I didn't have answers for that because I didn't, I didn't want to seek Him. I moved to New York, was fortunate enough to get some work right away. So I'm coming home from this party and I hear footsteps behind me. It's 2 a.m. And uh, I got mugged, three guys, one of whom had a baseball bat. It was uh, damage to my face and to my memory. Um, there was a pretty significant brain damage. After that mugging, I went from working large theater houses to working at a movie theater on Broadway, Sony Theater on Broadway, filling popcorn buckets because that was the only thing I could do. My brain, I, I couldn't fill the drinks, too many options. I couldn't run the register, too many options and I couldn't complete a full sentence. And let me tell you, memorizing lines was out of the question. From there, through different encounters with people, and the Lord just loving on me, he, uh, he began to woo me back. Like I'd given my life to him, but I hadn't loved him yet. For years, I thought he was the one who who made all of these lousy things happen in my life. It's such a lie. It's not his character. It's not who he is. He's the one who brought beauty out of ashes. That's his character. That's who he is. From that moment on, I never drank again. I never did drugs again. My memory started to increase. I got back into the theater and eventually I came here. My first year was ensemble. I was ecstatic to be ensemble. The next year, I got the role of Jonah. Where did that come from? Well, I'm not going to Nineveh! No! <laughs> There's a lot of Jonah in me. I know what it's like to run, to walk in unforgiveness, to let anger and hurt be the thing that rules your life. But just like Jonah, I also know what it's like to walk in freedom. I know what it's like to forgive. I know what it's like for the Lord to transform your heart and your life and to give you a new beginning. When we did this show, uh, we had no idea it would be as far reaching as it is to go from a large stage where almost a million people saw it as it was playing that first year to now it's gonna be at over 600 movie theaters across the country. That's incredible. Only the Lord can do that. Thank you.